got a minute? Oh! What? So we have a brand new projector in the house people. This is the JM Go 01 short throw projector. So short throw means from a distance of only 10 inches you can achieve a full HD home cinema projection. Wow, check it out guys. This projector does not even look like it's from this world. Yeah, I'm really excited to test this. So we've got a user manual and an accessory box which contains a power supply, a power cable, and you're getting a very beautifully designed remote control, all white finish. It's powered by two AAA batteries. You do have a built-in microphone, but what's unique is this metal finish for the navigation circle. Um, that's definitely a nice touch, and it goes very nicely with the aesthetics of the projector. And projector itself is very unique in design. It's quite compact. You've got one large circular button over here, surrounded by an LED light ring. The lens is over here, the short throw lens. So from only 10 inches away from the wall, you can get a massive 100 inches. Uh, on the front where you usually have your lens, you've just got uh, a metal finish with the JM Go logos and it says Wonder Wall over here. The rest of the projector is made from plastic, but just that front part is finished in metal, which does look quite nice. The sides, you've got nothing, you've got ventilation. And I'll quickly show you both sides. And at the back of the projector, we have an Ethernet port, SBDIF audio. You've got two USB ports for your multimedia playback. You've got two HDMI inputs, so you can hook up your favorite game console or TV box. And one of them does support HDMI arc. And there is your power socket and some more ventilation towards the bottom of the projector. And if I just flip it over, and you do have a single tripod thread at the bottom of the projector. So let's quickly go through the specs. This is an LED video projector. Lamp life is 45,000 hours. Brightness is 800 ANSI lumens. You have a native 1080p resolution. Contrast ratio 5,000 to one. This is running Luna OS with Alexa voice control. You have three gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. You've got auto focus and auto keystone correction. You've got automatic color temperature adjustment. You've got automatic anti glare. Maximum optimal screen size is 100 inches. You've got your HDMI inputs for your game consoles and TV boxes. This features 10 watt stereo speakers by Dyna Audio, supports Dolby Audio and DTS sound. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all set up and we are gonna find out exactly how good the JM Go 01 short throw projector actually is. I'll be right back. So check it out guys, the projector is set up and ready to go. We are half a meter, not even half. We are quarter of a meter away from the wall in front of us. Um, and we're projecting directly on the wall and you can see a 110 inch projection. And you can see the projector is barely 20 centimeters away from the wall. So amazing short throw distance look at the size of that projection and already things are looking good now the first thing i always test is the fan noise so i can hear the fan and if i was right next to the projector the fan noise would be around 36 to 37 decibels and if i move a meter away then you can expect around 32 to 33 decibels of fan noise so the fan noise is on the lower side and here are the system menus. So you have what looks like an Android home screen. We've got settings, file manager, eShare, JMGo, and App Store. If you press down on the remote, you will see a few pre-installed apps. So we've got Smart YouTube TV, WPS Projector, Prime Video, Disney Plus. We've got settings and Netflix. Some of these apps I did download myself. So first thing we're gonna do is check out these system settings. So at the top, you've got your Wi-Fi, Ethernet, personal hotspot, and Bluetooth. Then you've got source signal, so local, which is your Android. Then you've got HDMI, HDMI 2. This does support HDMI CEC. And you can adjust the color range, and you can even set the startup source. So it can automatically start up to any of the three sources. And here are your audio settings, and the audio output can be selected to something else. And you've got some audio presets, so standard music, cinema, and sports. And next up we have projection settings, which is very important. So we've got eye protection mode, brightness, which I've set on high, but you can have it on balanced if you want a more eco-friendly approach. You've got low blue light mode, which I've set it on automatic, um, but you can switch that on or off as well. Auto keystone correction is, is important. When that's enabled, it will make sure you're getting a square display. If I switch it off, that's what happens. So. Auto keystone correction, it will correct the screen and make everything square again. 
And if something's not right, you can go ahead and manually adjust each corner yourself. You've got something called intelligent image flattening, digital zoom, quickly show you digital zoom. So if your wall is not big enough and you need to shrink the image, you can shrink it all the way down to a suitable size. Autofocus, autofocus collaboration, aspect ratio and projection mode. Okay, we also got some video settings so you can play around with the image mode. So it's currently set on standard, but you can have it set to office, bright colored, and you've also got a user preset as well. So you can customize the contrast, brightness, hue, saturation, and sharpness to give yourself a more personalized image quality. You've got image noise reduction. I've set it on medium, but you can go high, low, or off. You've got low latency mode, and that's specifically when you connect an HDMI source. So for example, if you connect a PlayStation or a PS5 or whatever, you can have low latency mode on, and that will be good for gaming. Now you've got something called motion compensation, which provides different video display effects. I've got it on high, but you can set it on medium, low or off. Now this projector does support HDR and I've currently set it to automatic. Color temperature standard and wall color collaboration can also be done. So we're projecting directly on a cream colored wall. So you just run the collaboration and then it will set the colors to its optimal settings. Now we have a few options under advanced settings. So one of them is fan speed and I've got it on automatic, which is actually low speed. If we hit full speed, that fan noise just increased by more than double. So you can now expect around 43 to 44 decibels of fan noise from a one meter distance. I'm going to leave it on automatic as I prefer that low fan speed. Finally, under system settings, we've got languages and I'll show you which languages are included. Just a quick run through. And you can set the time zone keyboard. You've got firmware updates. Then we've got reset about contact us and user agreements. If I go to about, you can see the system version. So the OS is called Luna OS and it's based on a Android backend. Now let's check out what type of app store is included. So it doesn't look like we have the Google Play Store. I think this is going to be a third party app store. And I believe that does include games. So we're going to check out some of the functionality and features that this projector offers. I do want to begin with screen mirroring and casting. So if we open up eShare. All right, so we're supposed to scan that QR code with our phone. It's asking me to download an app called eShare for iPhone. It's already found the device, eShare 7939. I'm tapping on it. For some strange reason, I could not get screen mirroring to work with eShare and with either Android or iPhone. All right, so we're going to now check out some streaming quality, beginning with YouTube. Okay, maximum streaming quality from the internal YouTube is 720p. All right, briefly pause it on the lizard as I usually do. Let's go for a close up. Look at that image quality. So I can't fault the picture quality. You can see no pixelation up close. That lizard looks sharp and clear. The colors look amazing. All four corners are prominent and clear. So even though we are limited with the YouTube app we're using, so only 720p streaming, the picture quality, colors and brightness look quite good. I'm gonna play a few more trailers to get a better idea. Why would somebody want me to help? You're looking for an Irishman. Are you sure you want to know who you mean? Miles! You got a minute? Oh! Look! Oh. When? Bronze star, silver star, and a purple heart. In God's name, it's a guy like that. Though. This isn't really happening. <laughs> I hear there's uh, something you don't like the looks of. We discovered a very large... You need a doctor? My dog's the best, but he's not the greatest with other animals. What is new with you, fellow normal dog? All right, so quick look at the pre-installed Netflix. So it looks like Netflix supports a maximum resolution of 480p. So now I'm going to try and replace my monitor with this projector. So let's see what happens. All right, monitor's gone for now. Here is the projector. Perfect size. It looks like this might just work. So not a lot of distance. Switching on the projector, let's see what projection size we can achieve. 
from this distance. Definitely bigger than what I'm using at the moment. So with that much throw distance, we're getting 50 inches on the wall. So less than 10 centimeters away from the wall and we have achieved a 50 inch display. To increase the size, you simply need to pull this shelf outwards and the screen should get bigger. So let's do this. Wow. Wow, check it out guys. That is nearly double the size. So the glass shelf has been pulled outwards to give us a much bigger display. So maybe if you need a big display when you're gonna game, pull the shelf out, makes it bigger. And when you finish gaming and you want a regular size screen, push the shelf back and you'll be back in 50 inch mode. It does work how I intended it to. You can technically replace your monitor with this projector thanks to that short throw distance. Now I have just connected my PlayStation 4 via HDMI. You can see we are still in the Android OS, but a preview box has just appeared on top um, and you can see, so if you have anything plugged in under HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, it will show you a preview of that source, which I thought was a very neat feature that I have not seen before in a projector. So I am now gonna select HDMI source 2, so that should uh, get bigger. You can see that the actual screen looks much better than when it was in preview mode. With the HDMI plugged in, we have a 1080p projection and we have support for HDR. So let's go ahead and play a few PlayStation 4 games and see what the projection quality is like. So before we play any games, I just want to quickly try out some YouTube on the PS4 to see what sort of resolution this supports. So when you're watching YouTube from the PlayStation 4, you can expect 1080p at 60 frames per second with HDR support. So this time, 1080p 60 frames per second with the HDR makes everything look lifelike. Look how that lizard looks. Look at the colors contrast. Look how the image just pops. Now I do want to switch on the light to show you what daytime projection would be like. And even with the light on, the projection quality looks absolutely amazing. So let's switch that light back off and play one or two more trailers. Time to play some games. So just gonna switch on low latency mode and see if it makes any difference at all. Here we go. That fan noise you're hearing is not the projector, it's my PlayStation 4 going crazy. So it's my old PlayStation 4 I've been barely playing 10 minutes and it's already ready to take off. The King of Fighters 14. So there you have it guys, that was the JM Go 01 short throw projector. This is a well designed projector, compact and quite silent in operation. I absolutely love the short throw distance. From only 10 inches from the wall, you can achieve a bright 100 inch 1080p display. Luna OS based on Android offers plenty of features and also plenty of customization options 
for the projection, video and audio. So you can fine tune things to suit your own preference. And I wish all projectors would offer this level of customization. Projection resolution is 1080p native, which looks crisp and sharp. Brightness is actually very good. You can even get away with some daytime movie and gaming sessions. But of course, the dark room offers the best cinematic experience with great brightness and contrast. The autofocus and keystone correction is very useful and it means most of the time you can place the projector anywhere in the room and it will automatically adjust itself with the option to fine tune if you need to. Movies and games look pretty good. In fact, the projection quality looks much better in person when it's in front of you. For some reason, my camera will never pick up accurately what my eyes can see. So rest assured, in person, this looks much, much better. Now, even the built-in speakers were loud and clear. I did not feel the need to connect my audio system. The built-in speakers were actually very good. And to sum this one up, here is my latest video projector chart for 2021, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And as you can see, I have ranked JMGO01 at position 8 on this chart. So it's made the top 10 projectors of 2021. Any questions or anything you want me to test, let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.